A TDS meter is used to measure the total dissolved solids in water. Total dissolved solids are minerals in the water like calcium, magnesium, and sodium. These minerals are what give water its taste. Too many of these minerals can make the water hard or even undrinkable. A TDS over 400 milligrams is considered unsafe to drink. It's important to know though that a TDS meter is not a replacement for a water test since it doesn't let you know about what other contaminants are in your water. You could have lead or other contaminants like pesticides, pharmaceuticals, or chromium-6. And TDS meters won't tell you these things. This is why we always suggest a laboratory water test before purchasing water treatment. A TDS meter can help you though if you have a reverse osmosis system. So how do you know when it's time to change the membrane? The answer is you don't, unless you have a TDS meter. Measure the TDS of your tap water, then measure the RO water from comparison. The RO water should be about one-tenth or less the TDS reading of the tap water. For example, if the tap water reads 300 parts per million, then the reverse osmosis water should read 30 parts per million or less. What you're measuring is the performance of the reverse osmosis membrane. If you get a quality TDS reading, then you know the membrane does not need to be replaced. So if you have a reverse osmosis system, we recommend also making the small investment of a TDS meter. Thanks for watching.